Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about list of equivalent formulas. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what is meant by equivalent formula. If you take two propositions, when we are going to say that these two propositions are equal by checking their truth tables. So, the clear explanation provided when we can say that two formulas are equal in our last class. Please watch the class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, we are going to give you a list of equivalent formulas. We are going to use this equivalent formulas many of the times in our next classes. So, you need to, you need to remember all this by practice you are going to remember all those uh, formulas uh, but the best way is uh, you, you you need to remember this to make the things easy in our next classes uh, coming to the, uh, today's class uh, so p disjunction p this can be equal to p so if you are having the equation p disjunction p you can write it as p you can do it both sides if you are having the equation p you can write it as p disjunction p both are equal so why why both are equal let's try to understand with an example let's take that p is equal to true true disjunction true equal to true if you take p is equal to false false disjunction false equal to false so if you take p is equal to true our output is true if you pick, take uh, p is equal to false our output is false so that's why p disjunction p is equal to p Similarly, P conjunction P equal to P. So, this, these laws we call it as idempotent laws. Now coming to the next one and from here onwards we are going to use the terms conjunction means and, disjunction means or. We are going to use these terms interchangeably. So, you have to adjust to, uh, to those terms. Now coming to the second one. Second one is associative law. P disjunction Q disjunction R. This is similar to, this is equal to P disjunction Q disjunction R. So, here you need to understand brackets. So, whenever there is brackets, we are going to do this one first. P disjunction Q is going to be done first. Whatever the output, you, whatever the truth value you got here, this disjunction R you are going to do. If you do, the, do this, whatever the output you got, the same output you are going to get for this formula. So, in this formula, you are going to do, do Q disjunction R. First, whatever the output you got here, this disjunction P. Both are going to get the same thing. The point you need to understand, you can shift the brackets anyway. P disjunction, Q disjunction, R. You can place the brackets anywhere. Whatever the way you do, the entire output will be same. So, let's, uh, let's take an example. P is equal to true, Q is equal to false, R is equal to true. Take these values. True disjunction, false. What is the output? True. Disjunction, true. Which one you are going to get? Our out final output is true value. Similarly, false disjunction, true true value disjunction with this t what are the, what is the output you are going to get t so the point you need to understand disjunction means r any one is true entire equation is going to be true so any one is true you are going to get true similarly p conjunction q conjunction r is equal to p conjunction q conjunction r so you place the brackets anyway you are going to get the same output. So, we are making it slow because we are going to use this many times, use these equations many times in our next classes. You should be very familiar with this, all these laws. Now, coming to the next one, commutative law. Commutative law means P disjunction Q, same as Q disjunction P. You do it anyway, you are going to get the same output. P conjunction Q is equal to Q conjunction P. So the next law is distributive law. We are going to use this law very, very much. And so, so many of you are going to get confused when you are applying distributive law. You have to apply it properly. P conjunction Q disjunction, P disjunction Q conjunction R. 
this can be written as a, this is same as this is equal to see p disjunction q p disjunction q this conjunction is going to come here in the middle conjunction p disjunction r p disjunction r this is how we write the distributive law so whatever the truth values that come for this this proposition law, uh, equation the same value you are going to get here you check the truth table you are going to get the same next one is p conjunction q disjunction r this can be written as p conjunction q p conjunction q this disjunction is going to be in the middle disjunction p conjunction r p conjunction r the next one is identity loss. P conjunction, the other value is always true. If it is true, whatever the value, if one value is true, whatever the other value is, the conjunction is dependent on the other value. P conjunction true is equal to P. Yes, take the example. You fix one is true. The first one is true. Conjunction take the p value if you, if you take the p value as true our output is true if you take the p value as false our output is false so our output is completely based on p conjunction means if both are true then only it is true one is true it is already given that one is true so the output is dependent on the the next value if it is true it is going to be true if it is false it is going to be false similarly P disjunction false. In this junction, any one is true, then the output is going to be true. One is already they have given as false. So the output depends on P. If it is true, your output is going to be true. If it is false, your output is going to be false. So the next one is domination loss. P disjunction true is equal to true always. Disjunction means any one is true, our output is going to be true. It, it was already given that one is true, so our output is true. Similarly, P conjunction false. One value is already given as false. Conjunction means all the values should be true, then only our output is going to be true. One is given false, so whatever the P value is, we don't need to care about it, our output is going to be false. The next one is negation law. Negation of negation P is equal to P. Next one is De Morgan's law. This is also very important. Negation of P conjunction, P disjunction Q, this can be written as if you take the negation to inside, negation P, disjunction is converted to conjunction, negation Q. So negation of P this is conjunction right p conjunction q this can be written as a conjunction is converted to disjunction if you are having disjunction disjunction is converted to conjunction apply negation to all the values negation when it goes inside negation p disjunction negation q similarly negation p disjunction q this is equivalent to if you take the negation inside negation p conjunction negation q disjunction is converted to conjunction the next one is absorption law. P disjunction, P conjunction Q is same as P. Same, similarly, P conjunction, P disjunction Q is equal to P. Whenever you have this, you can write it as P. And few more formulas are there. These are also very important. We are going to use them many times. P implies Q that can be written as negation P or Q. This equivalence formula we already checked in our previous example. We checked the truth table for this too. Both the values are same. So P implies Q can be written as negation P or Q or means here disjunction Q. P implies Q can be written as in another form also negation Q implies negation P. Similarly, biconditional P biconditional Q means P double implies Q can be written as a P conjunction Q disjunction negation P conjunction negation Q. These two formulas are same. Similarly, similarly P double condition Q can be written as a P implies Q and Q implies P. This is what the biconditional says. 
we, we discussed this what what is meant by biconditional it should be if p then q if q then p if p then q means p implies q and if q then p means q implies p so both are, you can apply both so negation of p double conditional q means double implies q negation of p double implies q can be written as a p double implies negation q so these are the mostly used equivalence formulas uh, which we are going to use in our next examples uh, hope you understand and you remember all these examples in equivalence formulas uh, hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you